All right, looking at another cell tower today. I haven't done one of these for a few days. So cell tower uh, is like a word search. We're trying to use every letter in the grid. And if you make a mistake, you can undo and try again. And that's about all you need to know. Um, so, uh, let's see, Let's we've been starting at the top. Uh, let's start at the bottom today. Uh, ooh, there's a V here. V's good. There's also a K. Those are good letters. The, the unusual letters are good places to start a lot of times. Um, so, now I said I was gonna start at the bottom, but now I see tuck or stuck up here. So, alright, let's come back to that. Let's go at the bottom. Uh, ooh, L-Y. L-Y is often, so you gotta watch for, uh, suffixes too, prefixes and suffixes, like L-Y, I-N-G, those are always good. So something L-Y, now if we do that, this could be vice then. Um, can we do advice? No, we can't. What, what else can you do besides just vice? I don't know. There's not much else you can do there. Now if it's L-Y, something like, hmm, or, orderly? No. Lone? Lonely. No, we got only, but no lonely. Let's see, over here we've got died, potentially. Um, diddied. <laughs> ah, now this is interesting. So let's forget about vice for a second. If we do li, if we do li and vice, let's just put all those in there. Now, the double d down here is a problem. Um, you could certainly have a word with two D's in it, like hidden, for example, but it's generally gonna be in the middle of a word, not at the end of a word. And if it's the middle of the word, then the D, D has to go to the N, and that's not gonna work. So, I think the D's have to be in two different words. Now, one of them could end in an ED, like we said, died or something. Um, but, then what's gonna happen with this other D? It's gotta be, uh, you're not gonna have DN. Right? So, it's gotta be like T-E-D or something, because you're also not gonna have T-D. I think it has to be... I think the E has to go with the D, which means this T has to go there. So, something like this, and now this N is stuck out here and has to go... ...with the C. So, convince. Convince. I have convinced myself that it has to be Convince, because it can't be vice, because we have to put the N with the C. So convince, there we go. Now, we can do something T-E-D, like this. Like, I mean, it could be minted, it could be... Um, but then, then you've got problems down here with deity, that doesn't really work. Um... I mean, assuming the L-Y is going at the end of a word... Something erdly or edly or iredly or uh, let's see. We could do died. We could do submit or submitted. Ooh, it could be submitted. That could the T E D could connect over to the left there. So, oh, but it has to be it can only be four to eight letters, so it can't be submitted. Okay, but we could do submit still and died. And then, nineted, nineted, um, there's pain then, if we do submit, pain. I'm seeing, I'm seeing several possible words in this grid that, um, I, I doubt our answers. Uh, I'll leave that to you to speculate on what that would be. Um, interesting, I don't know, I, I'm, 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 I like submit. I think that's pretty good. And it could use the other I, right, up here. But then, I think we're in trouble down here if we do that. So, and pain is a good word. Or gain, gain. No pain, no gain. Uh, gain would be good too, but then... Point, pointed, pointed. Okay, so let's do submit, pointed. Died. Um, now it could be gain, it could be pain, it could be again, or again, depending on how you like to pronounce that one. Now, we're getting into some trouble over here though, so let's be careful, because, yeah, that's, that's a problem. If we do again, then over here is, there's, 
Yeah, so what's happening over here with these? Because... We've got a whole bunch of consonants over here. Um, we could do something like match. Match, but then again, what's happening... And you could do, I mean, you could do match a lot of ways. Champagne, you can't quite do champagne, almost. Ooh, we can do change and pain. And I think it's gonna be match, but look at this, we can do... Change, because the N and the G jumps over the P. Yes, that works. Change. Add change. Tap to add change. How much change are we adding? Pain. Uh, this... Because it's not tiredly. It almost works to do tiredly, but it doesn't quite work. Entire. We can do entire. And then... Ooh. Entirely. There we go. We can do entirely and then deleted. Entirely. That's a tricky one, winding down through there. And then we can do deleted. Deleted. I think this is going to be stuck and fails. Hopefully we're not going to fail. Stuck? I mean, restuck? I don't think so. Remote, maybe. Remote and fails. Yeah. Stuck. Fails. Remote. Remotely. We can do match. Yeah. Remotely. Match. I see around and hoped. And we will save, save our, save hope till the end. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Keep hope alive that we're going to solve. Alright, so there you go. No mistakes. Very nice. So, um, there were some tricky ones. I had a little trouble at the bottom there. There was a few possibilities and anyways, interesting puzzle. So let me know how you did with this cell tower. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Debate that often comes up. Have you ever referred to something as a vegetable? Maybe a tomato or a pumpkin or a cucumber? Okay. Okay. So that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good. So there's gotta be an O. Oh, wondered, wondered. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually.